Hi everyone, this is Anjanette from AJ's Personal Touch. Sorry I haven't been around lately, but my husband had the flu and we thought it was COVID and we're very, very, very happy that it wasn't COVID and it was just the flu. He did everything he could trying not to give it to me, wore a mask around me when we were in the same room together. Um, we slept in separate rooms, which we're used to doing anyway. <laughs> Those of you who have known me um, on here for a little while know that um, I've said on different channels when I've watched live and stuff when we're talking about husbands that my husband has a tendency to move around a lot to sleep and hits me and has hit me in the face. So yeah, we stopped sleeping in the same bed a while ago because um, when my aches and pains that I already have from my chronic pancreatitis and my other stuff, my fibro and everything. I just didn't want to hack to it with being hit, you know, from him in the face. So, anyway, so we weren't sleeping in the same bed. And then he, um, he stayed as far away from me as he could anytime he was up. But I ended up getting it. We thought mine was fibro, which would have been even, not fibro, COVID, which would have been even worse because my doctor's fear with all of my stuff that I have, you know, I haven't told you all of it yet, I will, um, that I may not survive COVID if I get it. So we have been very, very diligent with what we do. Um, we were um, around somebody who had it and didn't realize it. We went to a funeral um, from my aunt who passed away and um, her daughter's boyfriend turned out a couple days later that he had COVID, but they didn't know at the time. Um, I really wasn't around him because I didn't know him, but I gave my cousin a hug and um, actually I gave her more than one that day. And, uh, you know, being that they're so close and everything, he did not get COVID. So we were very, very, very happy about um, please say a prayer for people around the world right now and in our country who have it. I have one of my best friends, she, her husband has COVID, found out that she, um, is positive for COVID, but she's a carrier. She doesn't actually have it. She has pneumonia right now. So a lot of people I know are really, really sick. Is put people up in prayer right now if if you believe in that or whatever you believe in do that for those um i would greatly appreciate it i know i have been keeping everything in my prayers mm. peppermint tea because my throat cannot handle doing much of anything without my peppermint tea right now okay um one of the main reasons I came on is because I just got a box in the mail yesterday. And I've been waiting on everything else. But this is from, it's called the Traveling Box of Joy, which originated with Cynthia's Joyful Creations. Um, she sent out three different boxes. This is box number two. And um, if you go to her page. I will try to remember to put the links down below when I'm done with my brain right now. I, I don't remember a lot, so I'm trying to make sure I write it down. Um, we sent out three different boxes um, all around the U.S., and um, I know this one traveled to Michigan before me, but she's been putting um, progressions up on her page so you can see you know, like where the last place it traveled to was and that. But this is the size of this box. Um, one of them that I watched, I think, must have been a really pretty big box. Um, we can't show you what's in the box. And we can't show you what we put in the box. Um, how this works is we get the box. We can take as many things out of the box as we want. We can take everything out of the box if we want to. But we're just supposed to make sure that we put back in as much as we took out. I think I put back in a little bit more, but have little knickknacky things around here, um, which seem to be what was in this box um, without spoiling anything, because you're gonna see what I got. And um, from my 
Yes, I was a um, Jamberry rep, and I have things that I used to send to um, people who book parties and things. Yeah, stuff like that to put in there. But when I opened the box, one of the first things I saw buttons. And I have been on a button craze for like the last six months. I love to look at buttons, I love to get buttons. So I picked these out. I love the different colors. I have a new baby godson. There is a baby boy I'm making a, um, a cocoon for. I didn't do one with buttons, one that needs buttons, but I could always put one on it if I wanted to for decoration. I don't know yet. When it comes to babies, I don't like putting extra things on their stuff for decoration, just in case. You never know if they might fall off, if they might, you know, get a hold of it. But being a cocoon, I don't think that would happen because he's going to be all cocooned up inside of it. Um, which, if I remember to, I will show you that. Oh, I will not just be filming this tonight. All I will have is this in this film. But I will be filming another um, while I'm still awake. And while I can still talk, if I can still talk when I'm done with this one. My FOs. Um, my whips in progress and a couple little bags that I got knit crate and a couple things. So anyway, first thing I took out was buttons. The next thing I took out, I have looked at these and have wanted one of these. So it was kind of cool to see it in there. It's called the no touch keychain. And what you do with this, I don't know if you can see it with it being so Let's take it out of the package because I'm going to put it on something so I remember to have it with me when I go places. And I also kind of want to give it to my husband, but with all the different colors, I don't know if he needs it or not. Well, I don't have anything to take it off of there, but at least you won't have the glare. It's got the keychain on it, and it's made so that you can put this on a door handle to pull it open instead of touching it right now with COVID and everything going on. So um throw it here. See it up close. It will show you. And a door handle and then like keying and numbers on a keypad. So I think that would be good for me to open doors, especially when I'm in the um when I go for my appointments at the doctor's office and stuff, I can use this to press when I for the door to open because I'm not really supposed to open the big heavy doors by myself. I'm supposed to press the um, thing to have them open because I have issues. I had to have surgery on this elbow and a couple other places, so just keep it safe. Anyway, I got this. I was really excited about that one. Next thing I got that I saw was this Inspire Me patch. It's the pink ribbon. I got this. I'm not sure what I'm going to put it on. I want to make myself a pocket shawl at some point in time or something, and maybe I'll put this on there. I have lost a um, cousin who was my cousin by marriage, who was just, I mean, just like a regular cousin to me. I loved her so, so much. And um, I lost my aunt, who was my aunt by marriage, who always but she was my mom sometimes when I was little. She was the crafty one. She's the one I think if anybody was to ask me who did I take after and why did I get into crafts, I'd probably say Tay because of my Aunt Judy because she was so crafty. She always wanted a little girl and she had a little boy. So for all of her little nieces, she always made us little special things. She'd make things for the boys too, but she tended to make a little bit more for us. There is that. I still have the first blanket that she ever made me. I wrapped my daughter up in it and brought her home in it when she came home from the hospital. So it's it's extremely precious to me. I know when I was little, I used to take it out and lay it down and have picnics on it with me and my dolls, my Barbie dolls and stuff. And it just, it went with me everywhere. And I can't believe my mom kept it as clean as she did. And it was still in mint condition today. So like I said, I just, I love it. It's quilted. It's got the red and white gingham. 
and then she put um, pictures how they used to get like the 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 cream paints and make pictures with them and she, there's pictures of all the like little animals in the forest it always made me think of Bambi because there's a little deer there's um the little skunk and the little rabbit and it just reminds me of Bambi and it was just my absolute favorite blanket then the next one I saw is another an iron-on applique you can see it here it's a sunflower. This made me think of my daughter because my daughter, well, it's a daisy or a sunflower. And uh, my daughter's favorite flowers are daisies and sunflowers. I had to get this. Again, maybe if I make a pocket shawl, I can put this on one pocket and put the sunflower on the other. And then I'll have some of my favorite people you know, that'll remind me of pocket shawl. Or maybe I'll put one on a hat. Now, the last thing I took out, is this the last thing? Yep, this is the last thing. They're called Bright Assorted Tags. I wasn't quite sure why I took them out, but they kept saying, take me, take me. So I did. Um, I know I can use these um, packages that I send out. I can use them on packages at Christmas time. Um, you know, especially now I, I don't have a logo, like a logo tag yet. So maybe I'll get a logo sticker made and I can attach it on all the different colors for now, whenever I send out something that I make, I could do that too. So I am sure I will find a good use for it. So that is everything that I got from Cynthia's Joyful Creations Traveling Box of Joy. Now, um, I will put hashtag traveling box of joy at the bottom of this. I would tell you who I'm sending it to, but I'm not sure who I'm sending it to. My name was the last one on the list of the people who told her they were interested in receiving the box. And um, your name doesn't have to be on the list for it to be sent to you. You can be somebody that, you know, the person knows or somebody who watches you know, their program. So I'm putting it out there. If any of you would like to get this box, you know, and take part in this amazing thing, then let me know. Leave me a comment or send me an email. If you go to my about, um, my email is on there. Um, it says email and then of course it's covered up, but then it says, you know, all you have to do is click on it and it will open up and give you my email. So, and actually my email is easy. It's um, AJ's personal touch at gmail.com. Same as my name on here. So, but at gmail.com. So, um, so yeah, if you're interested in receiving this box, I'm supposed to send it out within seven days. So I need somebody to send it to. So who would like to get it? Would any of you? It would be really cool if I could send it on to some of, to one of my people. The only stipulation is you have to be in the United States. So, um, I don't know if I have anybody watching me from out of the U.S. yet. I think I may have a couple people from Canada. Um, but otherwise, I'm not sure. Maybe South Africa, if some of my favorite people are watching me. I don't know if they are or not. Um, I haven't looked at my schematics or anything in a while. So, hope you enjoyed this little video about what I got. I was so excited to get the box. It made me feel a little bit better for today. So I was actually able to get up and open it and do something and not just sleep all day. Although I had to pay bills today too. So I was on the phone for like five hours taking care of medical bills. So, which was not fun. Most of it was waiting for somebody to answer the phone. So if you're interested in getting the box, let me know. And always, as I say at the end of my videos, remember that you matter. You matter to somebody out there no matter what. And with that, I hope you have a great weekend. And I hope to see all of you again soon. And I hope to start being able to make more content as soon as I start feeling better. Um, and maybe a couple days before I get on here again, I really want to do a video where I tell you 
more about me. And so you know all of what's wrong with me. And I don't just keep saying, oh, the one thing and oh, there's something else I want to tell you. Um, I do want to tell you about that. So um, maybe sometime soon. But anyway, I'm getting ready to make another video and I hope that you watch that one too. It may actually get put up before this one. Um, I would kind of like to know who I'm sending the box to before I put this video up, but it may go up before I know. So, have a great and wonderful weekend. I love all you guys. Later.